So give me three of the boys now. I want one ball with the boy here at the wing, one player at the top, one player at the opposite wing. When the ball goes to floor with one player, all bets are off with whatever planned movement we had in the offense. Because an entirely new set of principles come into play as soon as this player takes one dribble with the ball. And five players have to learn to work in unison. So if we have one dribble where the ball gets pushed to the player's right hand, we quickly want this player to be able to slide over two to three metres to the right, and this player to work on a chain and slide two, three metres to the right as well. And now we want quick delivery of the ball from here, pass, and pass to deal with the rotation of the defence where they've had to help off this player. When that pass is made, help from here to here, and we end with the open shot in the corner. Now, because the players aren't warm, I want you to be able to step in to a, about a free throw range and shoot your shot. We need this player to make a hard one dribble rip to the middle. Up, however, it's here, pass, pass quickly, we slide off, we shoot the ball. So there won't be help unless our drive can be game-like. So I tell the kids in the Australian team, you have to drive with the intensity like you want to dunk the ball. So our rip and hard one dribble has to be into the seam to draw the help and get the kick. Off you go. Here, going to slide off the X. Oops, start right on the X and slide. Good. Next line in. And we'll tend to pick an element, coaches, that we'll work on each day. The delivery of the pass, the shooter's hands and feet being in the correct position. But it's a constant rule that we want to have. When the wing player penetrates to the middle, we have to move on the chain.